This presentation of the Pro Basketball Association is presented by our sponsors. Benitez International Academy. Reach higher, no limits. With Benitez International Academy. Wilson Sporting Goods, the official basketball of the PBA. And Grip Spritz, court traction is important. No licking, just sticking with Grip Spritz. Come back here to the PBA Combine in Dallas, Texas. Now joining me is the mastermind of the PBA, none other than the man himself, Mr. Chris Terrell. How's it going? Doing great. Yeah, it's 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 really fun to be here and to finally be kicking it off with our Combine. And we've got, uh, oh, I don't know, 45 players, I think, that are here competing for a PBA contract and uh, teams nationwide from Seattle to New York City and everywhere in between that are scouting. Uh, the stands are full. Um, and so we're excited about what's going to happen today. Coach, well, I must say it has been impressive from the start of the PBA to where it has came right now. Started with a few teams, and then out of nowhere, you just blossom up. So, and, you know, just a massive growth. What has been a massive, what has been in your mind going forward, like the, the strategy you use with the success that you had, because obviously a lot of people hasn't had this much success like where some of the owners have, but you have turned this PBA into a powerhouse, and a, it ain't even had one game yet. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things I don't want to take all the credit for it. Uh, we identified first and foremost basketball people, either people like yourself that have run leagues before or people that have extensive experience coaching overseas at a high level, uh, NBA people, um, people that are currently in the NBA, people that are currently coaching overseas, general managers, uh, high level uh, executives overseas, team owners, uh, agents. Um, it, we've, we've, we have the, the globe covered with high level basketball people. And once you do that, then people understand this isn't just a business. Um, this is about getting these guys placed in high level opportunities overseas. It's a serious league. Everybody, when they're playing basketball, you know, whether they're a semi-pro team or a minor league team, an ABA team, a, a, you know, other leagues, um, they want the opportunity in the spring, summer to, to play with the best and to have an opportunity to take their careers to the next level. And that's the case whether they're players or coaches or scouts or whoever they are. And so if I had to put my finger on one thing, it's that we've surrounded ourselves with uh, high-power basketball people. Oh, yeah, Coach, and I know you got to get better to get back to the combine here. So what is, like, let's say, your future goals for the PBA moving forward? So NBA G League 2, you know, I think kind of double A for the United States of America. Uh, we're currently the top pro league in the spring summer. Um, so we've already accomplished that. But, um, you know, we kind of want to be thought of is that uh, the highest level of professional basketball in the United States after the NBA and the NBA G League. All right, there you have it from Mr. Coach Chris Terrell, the owner, mastermind of the PBA. We appreciate you stopping by, and it's going to be fun just to see the season as it gets underway. All right, appreciate it, Coach. All right, PBA fans, welcome back here to the Combine here in Dallas, Texas. And now joining me is a well-decorated Gentlemen in the basketball industry, Coach Ricky Benitez, how's it going today? Very good, sir. I'm, I'm very, very pleased with the talent we have here today. I was also very pleased with the talent we had in Rochester last weekend. These guys are working really, really hard, trying to make a team. Really, really good job for everybody. All right, so, Coach, let's get a little bit into your personal background. I know you've been coaching in several different countries, out championship after championship after championship. Go ahead and break it down. We want to hear from the man himself. You know, not everybody can say they got all these championships up into these different places, but you can. Go ahead and break it down. And for that, you can go on and take the mic. You the man. No, no, I'm good. My record is 601 wins, 99 losses. So I've coached 700 professional basketball games. I've coached in nine different countries, five different continents. I have 16 championships as a professional coach. But I have 15 championships as an amateur coach. So 
I got quite a few chips under my belt. You know, my goal is obviously to get to the league, but it has never stopped me from doing anything else than what I love to do, which is train and develop guys and win championships wherever I go. All right, and today I know that you could definitely probably see some guys that you probably see that can go play at the next level, correct? There's no question. There's at least, out of all these guys in here, I would say half this group can play somewhere. At least half. Wow. The man just said it. Half of these players in here that's under this PBA umbrella today can actually go play in somewhere. And, Coach, to break it down a little bit more, what do you think, what makes you feel so great about the PBA right now? Well, I think that Chris Terrell and his staff has done a tremendous job putting everyone together for one common goal, which is to help these players enhance their career and be able to help their family in the future. All right. Any last words before we wrap it up? No, sir. Thank you very much for having me. God bless you. All right. God bless you too, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. There you have it from Coach Ricky Benitez. And we're going to take this back out with a few more interviews, and then we're going to wrap it up in Dallas. All right, welcome back to the Dallas, Texas, to the PBA Combine. Now joining me is the Hoop Goon owner, Mr. Hermes Brown. Hermes, how's it going? It's going good, man, going good. Here to scout some great talent. Here to scout some great talent today, man. How's it going with you? Oh, man, everything going good. What do you think about, what do you think about this so far? That's right, we switched the questions around. Yeah, but no, it's, go, it's going great, man. I actually, uh, I'm, I'm loving what I'm seeing. It's a great turnout. Um, a lot of players, I, I mean a lot, a lot of great talent as well. So I'm glad I came out today to actually see um, who can actually help the Hoop Goon uh, organization uh, compete for a championship. All right, so Aramis, so tell us, what do you think about the PBA so far, you know, with the massive growth that you've seen within a few months period? Well, it definitely has been in a few months because it was December. Um, I don't remember the date, but December to now is j just now April. I mean, it's grown quickly, fast, and huge. So I think I think uh, Chris Terrell has done a great job, and everyone that's in the uh, front office has did a great job helping him. And uh, I'm excited for this season. I'm, I'm definitely excited. Uh, I'm pretty sure with all the connects Chris has, it's going to go. Uh, a lot of these guys are gonna, definitely going to get somewhere. So it's, it's going to be a great, great turnout this season. So what do you think about Hoop Goon? You think y'all going to compete for a championship? Well, you said, do I think we're going to compete for a championship? I know we're going to compete. I know we're going to win. Okay? I mean, because there's some teams out there. I'm, I'm ready to compete. And I don't mind saying them. The Admirals, first one off the list. Bye. Hey, all y'all, bye. Bye. Right here. Come home. Whoever want, come home right here. This is a Hoop Goon, baby. We not playing with nobody. All right, there you got it. We hey, get out, get out off the camera, hey, sir. Hey, it's uncivilized. <laughs> Hoop going, baby. Ah, there you have it. Hoop going on on Aramis Brown. We we'll back here shortly from the PBA Cup by. As you see, we having plenty of fun here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the PBA Combine here in Dallas, Texas. Now joining me is a very familiar team as they have been a powerhouse all over the U.S. pretty much, everywhere they travel to for us, tournaments and leagues. The Fort Worth firm, Mr. Don Waters, how's it going today? It's going great. It's going great. All right, so tell us, you have been able to build a solid foundations on a year-to-year -year basis. I know I've been following you guys for quite a while there, so I see that anywhere y'all go, your team always win. So how are you going to look to bring them winning ways to the PBA culture? Uh, we're just going to continue doing what we normally do, that's compete hard, and our culture of hard work will pay off. So I don't go in saying that we're going to uh, be the best or win, but the proof is in the pudding. Oh yeah, that, it definitely is. So tell us, what are you looking for here at the combine today to add to your roster? Um, we're looking to add a couple of wings and a couple of posts. Uh, checking out what skills are here, and uh, hopefully we can get a couple of guys to join our team. All right, and last but not least, what do you think about the PBA so far to this point? Great, uh, really professional. Uh, it's helping all the teams to succeed and not just focusing on certain teams and certain franchises, and it's uh, everybody working together. So I, I think it's a, a, a great organization right now. 
All right, there you have it from Fort Worth Farm, Mr. Don Waters. We appreciate you taking the time out today, and good luck in the PBA season. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the PBA Combine here in Dallas, Texas. And now joining is DFW Powerhouse owner, Mr. DJ Perkins. DJ, what's good? And welcome to the Combine here in Dallas. Man, appreciate you, man. Uh, hey, it's a blessing to be here. And it's awesome to see everybody here that's out here in the DFW just showing love right now for the PBA. All right, DJ, so tell us a little bit about what you're looking for here at the Combine to add to your powerhouse team. Oh, well, right now, hey, we're just looking to uh, just add, uh, just see what type of talent is out here. They got a lot of guys from all over uh, just showing their, uh, uh, showing their skills and showing their attributes of what they bring to the game of basketball. And, hey, just uh, enjoying this uh, PBA family love right now. All right, so moving forward, like, I know with your organization, um, you know, I know you guys trying to get to that. I, just, I seen one of the videos of your players. You're not releasing any delays, but it look, look like you're going to be y'all gonna be looking kind of nice over there. So um, to wrap it up, tell us, what do you love so far about the PBA? Uh, what I love about the PBA right now is just the, just the family environment, uh, just to be in our first season and doing the things that we're doing for minor league basketball. We're setting the tone. Uh, uh, that a lot of organizations or a lot of leagues just haven't set in a very long time. And so just with the brains that behind it, with Chris Terrell, uh, Mr. Michael Wright, uh, and a couple of other people to name, hey, things are just flowing here, and, and including, you know, uh, here in the DFW, man. And we love it. All right, there you have it from the man, DFW Powerhouse, Mr. D. J. Perkins. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Have a good one, brother. We'll yeah, see you here a little bit later. Kansas City, Kansas City. All day. The Kansas City Chiefs lost, didn't it? <laughs> All right, we out of here. <laughs> all right, welcome back to the PBA Combine right here in Dallas, Texas. Now joining me all the way from Missouri, program select. I got Kobe and Thomas joining me here today. So, Kobe and Thomas, I'm going to turn the mic over to you two guys. You know, kind of let us know about your program and what you're looking to do here at the Combine. What kind of players are you looking for? Well, we're here today uh, looking for some bigs to take back to uh, to Springfield, Missouri with us. Uh, we got a group of guards down in uh, Springfield that can really, really play. And we, uh, of course, lacking big man like every other team that comes down to the combine. Um, I think the, the biggest thing is just uh, seeing the physical and, um, and the strength of some of the big guys is what we're looking for. And uh, if we end up finding some guys like that, we're definitely going to try to get them back home. Yeah, we really, we really need some rebounders because we got a lot of shooters down in Springfield. So um, we need some big, big, some bigs that will rebound for us and and put it back in for us. All right. So tell us. I know you guys been keeping up with everything. What do you think about the PBA so far, and what do you love about it? Well, I think what I like about it is brand new, and we're totally brand new to uh, semi-pro basketball. And being in semi-pro basketball uh, means a lot to our town because a lot of our guys want to play professional basketball, want to go overseas and play, um, and they don't know how they don't have the right um, avenue or um, uh, platform for it. And us bringing PBA to our town and our city, I think our city will definitely. Uh, enjoy the idea that some of our local guys getting the opportunity they wouldn't normally get. Yeah, I'm super excited to continue playing and be a part of this and have a different route than college basketball to continue playing at a, pro, at a higher level. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this to start. All right, there you have it from Program Select out of Missouri. Welcome to the Pro Basketball Association, and we look forward to seeing what you guys are going to do for the season. All right, thank you guys All right, thank much. you. All Appreciate right, it. Cool. Yeah. Thank you now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dallas, Texas, to the PBA Combine, where things are heating up here. And now joining me is head coach for primetime, Mr. Brian Evans. Brian, how's it going? And welcome to Dallas. Hey, it's going great, man. I'm a Dallas native, though, so uh, <laughs> everybody else that flew in, happy they made it safe. All right, so Brian, what are some of the things you're looking to do that this primetime team is taking over as head coach, you know, from your playing experience, and what are you looking to bring to the table to get them guys to a championship in a PBA? Uh, my thing is, is just to bring intensity. You know, for one, uh, we're going to play hard every night, but what I'm going to bring to the table is just professionalism, uh, you know, teaching the guys the basis of the game and also trying to help them get to the next level of their careers. All right, so what's a little bit of your background for as your plan was and everything like that? 
I played five years in Europe. I actually uh, played in the summer league with the Bulls, so they sent me to their form team in Iowa. So I played two years with the Iowa Energy, and I also played in Sioux Falls. Uh, so I had a pretty lengthy career, but at the same time, my thing is to give back, you know, to always provide for the young ones that's coming up. All right, so it seems like you got definitely got a lot to bring to the table for them guys. That if you get them on point, you've been there, done that, you know, so now you can be that role model they need with prime time to get them over the hump. Exactly. Yeah, so tell us, uh, what do you think about the PBA so far? You know, what do you love about it? I mean, if you look out there, man, it's a lot of potential, uh, you know, professionals out there. Um, it's real professional, I'd say. If you look at yourself, I appreciate you guys having interviews here. And, you know, I just feel like it's a new up-and-coming league. Now, I think it may give the G League a competition, hopefully. But right now, we're just trying to build a foundation, grow this situation, and make everything good for basketball. All right, there you have it from prime time. Head coach, Mr. Brian Evans, appreciate you taking time out being here with us. We'll be right here shortly from Dallas. Thank you, bro. All right, anytime, man. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Now joining me, West Tennessee Heat owner, Jimmy McKinney. Now, how's he going today? Hey, how you doing, man? How you doing? Oh, man, doing great, doing great. You know, we definitely excited and about the organization you've been putting together on and off the court there in West Tennessee. How do you feel so far about the PBA Combine today? Well, the PBA uh, Combine is going pretty well. I see a lot of, uh, a lot of athletes out here that could play on, on uh, pretty much any level. Um, it's a few that got a good IQ. It's uh, some that need a you know a little more conditioning, but they still coming out to play hard and they communicating, playing good defense. So I like it. All right. So what are you looking to add to your West Tennessee Heat family? Well, we need small forwards and power forwards. We lost the center maybe a while back, maybe last fall. So we need we need mobile big men. I like to run. Um, I, I like my big men to be active on defense, but uh, but we, we play fast pace, so I, I want a mobile big man, a mobile power forward. All right, so overall, how do you feel yourself in a PBA? What do you love most about the PBA? Well, I like the organization. Uh, it's very organized. Uh, a lot of the players, they they are, the league is transparent with the players. That's the biggest thing. Like they know what they are getting. They know what to expect. They know what they will not be getting. So it's transparency is probably the most most thing I'm uh, kind of impressed with. Um, I like the website. I like the organization. Everything on that nature. So just, I think the the league pays much attention to detail. So that's what I like the most. All right. Any last words to the West Tennessee people he did that, that may be watching out there today? Yeah, uh, all our fans, make sure you go to Facebook, uh, IG, West Tennessee Heat, uh, and then like the page and support us. We got a lot of young people, but try to support us. Thank you. All right. There you have it from the man himself, West Tennessee Heat. We're going to be back here shortly from the PBA Combine. Oh, I appreciate it, Coach. I appreciate it. All right, now. All right, welcome back to Dallas. Now joining me is Brian Simonian. You know, Brian, how's it going? And welcome to Dallas. Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here and being part of this new league, the PBA. I am the director for scouting for the Mexico region. I've been down in Mexico for the last four years, coaching in uh, Ciba Pack and Ciba Copa. Before that, I got a chance to coach in the D League. I've coached over in Australia. I've coached in the BBL. So my, uh, us, my opportunities down there in Mexico are plentiful. Uh, the, B, the PBA is great for allowing uh, players an opportunity to play outside of college because there isn't a whole lot of opportunities in America other than the NBA to play professional. So my job here with the PBA is to find the best of the best and bring them down there to Mexico. Mexico has four professional leagues that play. Uh, so there's plenty of opportunity to get down there. What I tell players is to get into a country at any level, and if you can pay, if you can play, they'll find you. So get to a country, get into a, even if it's a smaller uh, level for you, get some stats, make, make some connections and some networking, and then you can level up. The LNBP and the Ciba Copa pay anywhere between five and $10,000 a month to their players. So there's real money to be made down in Mexico as a player. All right, so I know that's definitely awesome. Your resume speaks for itself, you know, so been coaching all these different areas, D-League, all over the place, so that's an amazing stat. 
And also, so I know you just said, you know, you can help these players get to these places. So, yep, so there y'all here. You heard it from the man here. He can help you get there. All you got to do is show up, show out, build that stat level up. Whatever level you can get into just to start off the billet, get in there. So uh, tell us, what do you like about the PBA so far? What do you love? You know, I've had opportunity to be a part of the ABA and some other semi-pro leagues here in America because I saw that there was a great place for, there was a, there was a void really for players to get in and, and play at a different level in the NBA. So I'm excited that uh, Chris Terrell has put this together. I know he has a great reputation down in Mexico, and that's how I met him. So with his backing and, and with the, the backing of his, uh, his network, I have no doubt that the PBA will be successful. I'm excited to be here in Dallas. There's a bunch of players here that, that are really showing out and playing really hard. Uh, and I, uh, I think that there's going to be even more tread as we go down into the southwest next month. And I know we're up in Rochester earlier this month. So really the, the message of the PBA is growing, and I'm excited to be a part of it. All right, Brian, we sure appreciate you taking time out, stopping here with us. All right, have a good one now. Thank you. All right, we'll be back here shortly from Dallas. I'm Michael Wright. All right, PBA fans, welcome back here to Dallas, Texas. Now joining me is Coach Ida Gone from the Desert Cats. You know, how you doing today, and how was your trip all the way here to Dallas? No, it's been a pleasure being here. I mean, thank you for the league to this invitation. I mean, uh, I'm really happy to see all this talent. You know, it's a, it's a tremendous competition up here, and it's a, you know, it's a pleasure for us coming from um, representing El Paso uh, Desert Cats team from, from all the way uh, the area in Texas, um, close to the border with Juarez, Mexico. So, I mean, we, we're really happy for this. Thank you for the opportunity. All right, so tell us, so what are some of your organizations? I know you from the, you say from the El Paso. Uh, what teams do you have set up down there? You got the Desert Cats and someone else? Yes, we, we participating right now. The ABA, we just finished uh, the competition. We finished our record 18-1. Uh, and one. We lost a championship game on that conference. Uh, last week it was, it was pretty, you know, a pretty hard for us, a hard, a hard loss. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy for what we did. Uh, the 18 and zero during during the whole uh, regular season, 17 and 0, uh, and for now, well, we just um, give a couple of breaks to our guys, uh, at least uh, two three weeks, and then we come back start practicing again because we're gonna be enjoying the the PBA, and uh, for us it's gonna be a, a pleasure. You know, uh, we're working already try to build the team a little more stronger. That's the reason why I'm here to scout a couple of players, and hopefully, you know, we have a good representation from El Paso again at this this is a strong league. All right, so tell us, what do you love most about the PBA? Well, I know I know Coach uh, Chris Terrell for a long time. We, we both coach in Mexico at professional level. Uh, he's, a, he's a really professional of what he do. Uh, we trust him so much, and pretty much um, this organization, man, this organization is really professional. Um, uh, all the people that is involved with the PBA and administration and stuff, they're doing a tremendous job. Um, also the marketing, I think the marketing and the publicity, uh, broadcasting, all the announcement is uh, really professional, it's another level, and that's what we're looking for. We want to promote our players so they can go overseas, so they can get signed somewhere else, and of course we're going to need a, you know, a better broadcasting and a, and a, and a situation with the, with the social media, which is uh, you guys are doing a tremendous job. All right, well we definitely appreciate you taking time out, coming on board with us today, and we look forward to seeing what the Desert Cats are going to do for the 2021 BBA season. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. And just say hi to everybody in El Paso who's looking at us. Thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Thanks, man. Thanks, All right. All right, welcome back. Now joining me is Mr. Ashley Robinson, the owner of the Kitsap Admirals and the Texas Admirals. So, Ashley, how's it going today? And, you know, welcome to the PBA Combine here in Dallas. Thank you. Thank you. All is well. I'm excited to see uh, the talent that's out here. Of course, I'm new to Texas, so this is a great experience for me. All right, so tell us, what are some of the things you're looking for in talent today? Well, of course, you know, coachability and just not just effort. When it all comes down to it, being a professional, you know what I mean? Uh, of course, there's levels to the game, and so there's definitely a certain level that I'm used to. So I'm a little picky when it comes to that, just going overseas. So that's what I'm really looking for. Yeah. Under your program, 
you have been able to get a lot of guys recognition, a lot of guys exposure, you know, so being able to come into the PBA, how is that for you uh, with your track record that you already have on, you know, a solid program that you build not only for the court, but also in your community? Man, the PBA, honestly, is one of the best leagues I've seen in a long time. So that's one of the things why I wanted to be a part of it. Uh, understanding that the business and the PBA is well connected. Uh, very well organized so I'm excited to be a part of it alright and last but not least at least you just pretty much answered it but you know what how do you feel about the PBA so far? I love it to be honest I love it uh, just the opportunity to be a part of it and I'm excited to see uh, once it launched just see what happens uh, as a whole for the future of the program alright and there you have it from Mr. Ashley Robinson owner of the Kiss Up Arrows and the Texas Admirals. All right, we'll be back shortly from Dallas. Thank you. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Louisville, Texas. That's right. The home of the PBA Combine that's getting ready to take place right here in a few seconds. But now joining me is the owner of the Montgomery Knights, Miss Sharita. Sharita, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Uh, doing great. Thanks for asking. So tell us, like, um, you know, your organization and, you know, how long you've been a part of it, you know, and also what's your role with the PBA? Um, I am from Montgomery, Alabama. This is our second season, uh, first season with the PBA, and I'm also the liaison of the Southeast uh, Division. Okay, how did Southeast Division shaping up over there? Uh, very well, actually. Okay, you, you know you got you got them you got everybody whipped up in the shape. So I know y'all looking pretty good. Huh? Yes, yes, it actually we are. Some of the teams have already been playing in other leagues, so we we're ready. All right. So what do you think about the PBA so far? I am very impressed of everything I've seen thus far. All right. There you have it, Mr. Reader. We're gonna be doing interviews all day, so stay tuned. We'll be back here shortly from the PBA Combine. All right, welcome back here to the Combine, the other PBA here in Dallas, Texas. Now joining me is the owner of the Music City Jazz and the Columbus Black House, Miss Elijah Culliver. How are you doing today? I'm fine, Michael. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So getting right into the business, tell us what are you doing here so far? What are you looking for? And, you know, let us a little bit about your titles. Well, I'm actually the uh, regional director of the Southeast Conference, so I'm here to support as one of our executives of the PBA, as well as scout to see what we have available down here for the teams that are going to be in my region, um, just to pass a little information on firsthand, and just to be a part of making history. This is history for us, so it's big. I'm excited. I'm ready for the season to get ready to start and show the world what we've got. All right, and how do you feel about the PBA so far, with you just coming in and everything? Oh man, I've been watching it since it first started being talked about. Um, I have actually grown so fond of it. It's amazing to watch it to come to fruition and see it not just be something that's talked about, but something that we're actually making happen. Um, a lot of times you see things talked about, but you don't see the walk be walked. We're actually walking the walk here at the PBA. I'm excited. It's going to be something like you've never seen a league come out in the first year having. Um, everything that you want to build on, we're coming out with it in the first year. So there's nowhere we can can go but up and so I think everybody better hold on to the edge of their seats because we're bringing it. Hey like you heard Angela you know you gotta walk it like you're talking. Hey walk hey. it like you're talking. Hey. <laughs> PBA baby we'll be back here shortly with more interviews from the Dallas Combine for the PBA. All right welcome back here to the PBA Combine now join me is Texas Hyenas owner Mr. Jerry Thompson, Jerry, how's it going today? Oh, it's going, it's going real well, man. Today, uh, just uh, coming in today, trying to check out this, uh, the players I heard at the pro, pro combine. All right. So tell us, uh, coming into this combine, what are some of the things you were looking for to better your team and to get ready to go into the PBA season? Um, just uh, actually just coming out here to see uh, if I can uh, look for a player that has some type of asset to uh, to our organization. And uh, so far, what do you think about the PBA, you know, um, based off of, you know, being in as long as you have and just the things that are shaping up within the last few months with the organization? Um, I think uh, Chris Terrell is doing a great job. I think uh, what he's putting together is uh, going to give a lot of players a great opportunity to uh, maybe go overseas and play. All right. 
right, and there you have it, owner of the Texas Hyenas, Mr. Jared Thompson. Keep track of the Hyenas. Any social media accounts you want people to follow you at? Uh, Texas Hyenas uh, on Instagram, and uh, if you go to Facebook search engine, you will see, um, uh, type in Texas Hyena, and you'll see uh, coach, uh, head coach Alvin Reed and me. All right, there you have it. That's the man, Texas Hyenas. We'll be back here shortly. All right, welcome back to the PBA Combine. Now, join me. You just got through hearing from the owner. Now you got the head coach, Mr. Alvin Reed, coming in. Nice to thank you for taking time out to be here with us. And so tell us, like, what are some of the things you are doing with the hot hands to get them guys ready for the season? I just heard from the owner. Now let's hear from you. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get them prepared to, to get to go to the next level. A lot of these young men are trying to get to the NBA. I'm just trying to help as best I can, giving them an opportunity and uh, keeping them focused on what, what their dreams are. And that's all I have, you know what I'm saying, for just helping the guys out. Yeah, you guys have definitely been putting on a lot of, you know, PR stuff, getting ready for the season. Everything been looking pretty good within the Hyena organization. Everything been first class. I know you got to be a proud coach to be a part of an yes, organization. That's yes, sir. I'm very proud of the organization. I'm, uh, Jerry's done a great job as, as for promoting us. And uh, we're here now today to try to find out we can add on to the team. Got a pretty decent squad. Just trying to find out I can add another couple more pieces to make us a little bit better. All right, Coach. And last but not least, what do you think about the PBA so far? Uh, I enjoyed everything right now. Today's a big day for me. It's the first combine I've been to, so, you know, it's kind of new to me. But uh, I, I've been in the draft process before, so being on the other end. So, you know, being on the other end, you kind of like see what's going on. But now I'm on the opposite side, so I'm, I'm here to pick and choose now. All right, there you have it from Coach Reed. Keep tracking them Texas Hyenas, like we just said, and we'll be back here shortly. Thanks, Coach. Thank you welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to Dallas, Texas, to the PBA Combine. This man joining me right here to the left is very important. Something that everybody will, uh, you know, main title across the board. Mr. Gary Dotson, also known as Dot, he is the national. Um, officiating for all of the PBA so you have the director of officials for the PBA so Gary tell us what are some of the things you're looking to do you're gonna be in charge of the whole United States region all officials period you know national and probably once we expand international you gotta tell us a little bit about your history first first of all I'm, I'm from New York City play ball in the streets of New York moved to Dallas years ago I'm an old-school guy but um, Played little, little semi-pro ball, nothing major, but been a referee in here in Dallas for over 30 years and got to know a lot, got officiating in Atlanta, uh, NBA. I do one of the top pro tournaments here called the FedEx Tournament every July. And my officiating has carried me to meet a lot of top officials in the NBA and other areas. And the knowledge that I've gained, uh, you know, just want to share it with the other officials and bring them all together so we can make the PBA what the PBA wants to be. So tell us, like, I know with the signing the officials, is that kind of a hard task? Because I know how what the owners go through with the teams. What about assigning officials and make sure they're up to par? Is that kind of hard to make sure that everybody is properly trained and up to par? That's a good question because one of the first things I decided and wanted to talk to all the officials about is we having a Zoom call tomorrow is that we want everybody to be uniform. All the jerseys are going to be the same. It's going to be PBA. We're not going to have one wearing black and white. When you see PBA officials, you're going to see the same officials represented throughout the United States. We're all going to be on one accord with the rules. Uh, we're going to always give an effort. And we have officials that, you know, have done a lot of pro ball already, do college, upper high school, and developing young officials. We will use this as a development as well because we look at wanting to be just like you do in the NBA. We want to be able to have a product out there that represents the league. All right, so is there anything else that you want to probably break down? Like, I know you got your hands full. You know, the FedEx tournament, now just go back to the FedEx. You know, I got a chance to actually attend the FedEx. I think that was last year. So, you know, I know I got invited out to come and watch the game. Yeah, you definitely got your hands full on that. You are uh, FedEx tournament, the PBA sponsors the FedEx. So tell us when does that start and, um, you know, what time, what do you got to do for the new teams to come in? Well, the FedEx has been going on since 1987. This is my 34th year. It used to be all FedEx employees, give you a brief history. And then in 2003, we opened it up to Pro-Am because we got too old to play the FedEx employees. 
So, and it's one of the top tournaments in the country. Uh, players from all over come. It's July 16th through the 18th, right here in Dallas in Carrollton. And if you have any, any information, then you can go to wordofgodsports.net. Uh, that's my website, and you can have a link that says FedEx to learn more information. So, wordofgodsports.net. Yes. So, remember that, wordofgodsports.net. Make sure you go check that out so you can keep up with all of the FedEx tournament stuff that's going to be taking place, you know, right here in Carrollton. So, make sure this is the man, like I say, and you know, make sure you go follow him. Go, like I said, wordofgodsports.net. Go follow their social media sites, like it. Share it. This is a good man right here. He's putting in a lot of work just to make sure that all of the players and the coaches are satisfied across the boards, you know, with great officiating. So we'll be back here shortly from Dallas. I'm Michael Wright, and this is Mr. Gary Dotson, and we out of here. All right, thank you, Dan. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. So you came last year? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, welcome back. Now joining me is PBA Combine Coordinator Mike Mills. Mike, you've been doing a great job. I see you all over the place. Tell us what you've been doing to kind of make sure everything is up to par here for the PBA Combine, make sure everything runs smooth. Yeah, just making sure, you know, guys are in the right place, staff is, everybody's doing well. Um, great camp today, great Combine today, a lot of talent here. Um, assistant to, to Coach Ricky Benitez, so, you know, he's doing a great job. I follow his footsteps, great tutelage. So, you know, got a great guy, so it's hard, hard to go wrong when you got a great leader. So how many states you done been to already? Were you in New York last week? Didn't make it to New York. Um, just here for this one. I was actually back home in Arkansas, so I didn't miss the New York one, but I'm here for this one. Um, excited about what I see. Some great talent, so I'm excited for these guys. I right, heard a lot of feedback. Definitely, a, you've been doing a great job setting up this nice banner behind us that y'all see here, as well as a lot of other things, making sure everything goes smooth here. So appreciate you and keep up the great job. Appreciate you. All right, thank Good you. Job, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, welcome back. We have Miss Jim Moore, the owner of the Rochester Razor Sharks. Give it up, give it up. And the Buffalo Blaze. Yes, sir. So tell us, Jim, you have some successful programs going there in the state of New York. How have you been doing it? And what are you looking to do? Well, a lot of hard work, a lot of great support staff, great players, great organizations. So we're looking for another championship. And whichever team it is, may the best of my teams win. All right, so what do you think about this combine here today? It's been absolutely fantastic seeing this level of talent, basketball being played again. It's been far too long. All right, you see any guys that you're interested in and taking back to New York? We definitely got our eye on a couple, for sure, for sure. Some that are definitely standing out. Oh, yeah. So tell us, what do you think about, what do you love most about the PBA? I love the organization, the professionalism, the fact that this is filling a huge void that's been present on the basketball scene in this country for decades. So, love it. All right, and Jen, I don't want to close this out without you going into the history of your program. So I want you to just go ahead and take time out to let everybody know about your organization. The Rochester Razor Sharks have been around since 2005. We have seven PBL championships. We acquired the franchise in 2019 and are looking to continue the Razor Sharks history of championships and community engagement. And the Buffalo Blaze is our expansion team from 2020. So we're looking to create the exact same thing in the city of Buffalo that's been present for uh, over a decade in Rochester. All right, there you have it. From Ms. Jim Moore, Rochester Razor Sharks, as well as the Buffalo Blaze. We'll be back here shortly. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to Dallas, Texas. Now joining me is Mr. Rico Hill. Rico played professional basketball, but I'm not going to even much talk too much. I'm going to let Rico go on and tell you the rest. Uh, my name is Rico Hill. Uh, played 17 years professionally. Came out of Illinois State. Was drafted by the LA Clippers in the second round, second pick in 99. And played in Spain, France, uh, Italy, Portugal, Venezuela, Philippines. I've been pretty much everywhere. I just love the game and enjoy being in the trenches. Yeah, I actually recruited Rico back in uh, 2015. He didn't sign with me, no. <laughs> but a TBT. But uh, Rico. <laughs> yeah, I, play, I played with all my friends. We put a team together, all my homeboys from Chicago. All of us were ex-players. Big Lance Williams from DePaul. 
uh, Billy Rush. Man, we had we had a, a couple big names, a Stephon Hanna out of Missouri in the CBA. We, we put a nice little team together. Yeah, they going. So tell us, well, what are you doing now these days? I know you got your playing career out there, and then I know about a sporting agency. So you into the sporting stuff? As well? Yeah, I started uh, being a director of Men's Two Sports Agency. Um, it's almost been a, a calendar now, almost a year. But before that, coaching at Mount Carmel High School in Chicago where Antoine Walker played for three years. I got my own AU program. I've been doing that for four years, traveling all over the country and trying to get guys in, in the position to make some money like the guys I got here today playing. So what do you think about what you've seen so far out here on the court at the combine? Honestly, for my first PBA combine, I'm surprised that it was this great a turnout. I mean, they really doing something big, and it's, it looked like it's catching on. It's going to be something that's going to really be productive and positive for some of these guys to have a platform to build on their career and their resumes. All right, and what do you love most about the PBA when we wrap it up here? Honestly, that it, anybody can get an opportunity. It's like it, it's not about the politics. You just come here, you compete, and you show you showcase your talent and hopefully get a position. I mean, as a player that's at home and maybe didn't average 20 points at their college and didn't get the notoriety at a smaller school if they weren't successful, this is the kind of place you can come to and make a name for yourself and start building your resume to hopefully take you to where you want to go in your career. All right. Any last words for your family back in Chicago? My, my, my family back in Chicago, man. I love y'all. Wild hunts until I die, but I'm out here in Texas. I'm sorry, I'm not coming back. <laughs> All right, there you have it, Rico Hill. We'll be back here shortly from Dallas. I appreciate it, Rico. I thank you. All right, welcome back. Now join me as Roger Funderburg with the Buffalo Blaze. Roger, how's he going? How you doing? Just taking it easy here at the combine, having a good time in Dallas. All right, so tell us, I know as a head coach, you know, viewing a talent that you've seen today, what have you seen out here that you think that you can add to your pieces back in New York? Um, well, it's a couple of defenders that's here. That's what I really need. Like, we have a lot of scores, but at this point, I'm trying to figure out who can play without the ball. That's really a thing out here where it's everybody want to score instead of just trying to do the little things that basically – uh, get you on the team, basically IQ more. Yeah, more basketball IQ than skill, to be honest with you. Okay. So uh, how are you feeling overall with your team that you got down on right now? Uh, right now, I think we're good. Um, we're in the USBN league right now. We're in the um, regional finals So for that one, so final eight. So I feel like we're good now. It's kind of new because we're a new team, expansion team. It was like in our first year with COVID. So kind of adding pieces, adding players. But I think we're going to be good, especially in this league. All right, so that sounds good. And last but not least, what do you love mainly about the PBA? Um, I like the coaching, like the organization, how he set it up to where it's different commissioners for each. Northeast is also the new streaming where it's online so everybody can get looked at, coaches, players, everybody. So, yeah, kind of that's what I like about it, to be honest with you. All right, before we wrap it up, last thing this time, anything you'd like to say to those back home in New York? Um, well, I would say we coming. We coming. <laughs> First year, but, yeah, we're going to be, I would say we're going to be a powerhouse the way I'm trying to get, like, college players. and We're just straight out of college so then they could grow and be there. So, yeah, that's what I, just, we coming. New York, just be ready. All right, there you have it from the head coach for the Buffalo Blaze. We are signing out from Dallas, Texas. All right, thank All right, you. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Nice meeting you. you as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dallas, Texas, as we are wrapping up the combine here for the PBA. Now joining me is Jai Pradier. Jai, how's it going, and what have you seen out here that you like a lot in the talent here? Um, everything's been good today. We've seen a lot of talent. Uh, hopefully we'll get, be, be able to put the draft together nicely and pick what players we need out of this group. All right, John, go ahead and let us know what team you'll be coaching. I am coaching the DFW Dallas Just Hoops. We are currently number one, and we'll carry that number one legacy on to the PBA. Ah, there you go. Hey, see, he already told you. Hey, he over here talking to us. Got that work talking to us. Now DFW Just Hoops talking to us. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And my guy is the Metro Lightning. We're coming for y'all, too. <laughs> Oh, Ja, it's been a great experience with the PBA from when it first started and where it had grown at. 
and a ball hasn't even went in the air yet. The growth has just been tremendous. Tell us, what have you been able to see within that growth period? Um, when, first, when Coach first approached me with this, he was like, we're going to do 12 teams in a bubble, Dallas, keep it that way, and we're going to grow from there. Within two weeks later, we had 30 teams. Then it went to 40 teams. And right now we had month uh, three going into four, and now we have 60 teams nationwide. We got TV networks. We have Roku and Amazon uh, TV. We got our own PBA TV now. I mean, everything's just blowing up so much. Is this? It's, it's overwhelming, but at the same time, we actually loving everything that's happening. So it's a good thing. It's a blessing. And Coach Chris Terrell, uh, definitely praise this staff for being a part of this great run, you know, getting everything going. You know, I know you've been there through thick and thin. Everybody else been through there. So I know the key thing is to get the season underway and have a successful season. And that's it. You know, we play every night, Sundays, um, from anywhere from 6 to 10. Uh, anybody, family, you want to come out and catch a game, um, like I said, it's going to be on Amazon, on Amazon TV and as well Roku. But if you want to catch the last footage, you come down to uh, the Max Sports and watch the game live. All right, John, before I wrap it up, anything you want to say to the family out there today? Everybody stay safe. <laughs> Everybody stay safe out there as well. Everybody stay safe, and you'll be seeing PBA on TV very soon. All right, there you have it, Mr. Ja. And we'll be back here shortly and as we wrap up things here in Dallas. All right, welcome back to Dallas Now. Joining me is none other than North Texas Saints. Coach King, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Miss Kimberly Green, North Texas Saints in the house here at the PBA Combine in Dallas. How's it going? It's going great. How you doing? Uh, doing pretty good. So, so how you liking the competition here? The day is winding down. You got a chance to see a lot of the great talent. What do you think overall about what you've witnessed already? Mm, I think overall it was a great turnout. Um, we had a lot of people that came from out of town, especially Michigan, Ohio, Chicago, Illinois, even someone from Canada. So that was um, a testament to the promotion and to the commissioner and everybody that's done a great job at actually putting this uh, event together. Um, the competition so far has been looking pretty good. It is a lot of guards, um, but I've seen some pretty strong guards and a couple bigs and maybe a couple people who could go between a three and a four. So I definitely think we'll have people to pick from, um, but um, I'm really impressed with the whole turnout overall. All right, so tell us, what are some of your goals for the North Texas Saints getting ready for the PBA season? Uh -oh. My goal is just continue to build. You know, I feel like I've developed a pretty good culture with the group of guys that I have. Um, I have a core group that I pretty much take everywhere with me. Um, we've added some key components this year, some out-of-towners, some people who I've had relationships with for years that I was waiting for them to actually have a chance to play for me. And so now I felt like the PBA was a great lead to bring them in and it'd be worth their time, it'd be worth their effort, and also get them some exposure to maybe be able to get signed overseas. All right, and last but not least, break it down a little bit more. What do you love about the PBA? What do I love about the PBA? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been in a lot of semi-pro minor league professional leagues. Um, so when Chris called me in and mentioned about me joining the actual league, you know, I wanted to check it out first. And then as he started to roll out his connects, the people who were going to be involved from United States to overseas, then showing the two combines that he's doing, what he's going to do as far as live video, make sure everybody has stats, one place to play to where all you got to do is come. And you know the ref is going to be there. You got your refer referee organization already developed. And it makes it easier for us owners and us coaches to be like, man, look at all these things this league is providing. And I can actually focus on my team. So that's what I'm excited about. Having great competition, but then also being able to just come and play. And everything else is already done. You know what I mean? And so you feel your fee is going to good cause. And you actually can see where your investment's going. So I'm excited about it. See, I, I haven't heard that part yet. So you know, so you just broke it down, hit it on the head. There. 
So, you know, where you can actually see where the investments are going to, as we also got a chance to hear a scout from the, you know, Mexico League that was just talking about players can get five to 10 K a month. Exactly. And that's, that's the whole purpose of what we do. The whole purpose is not only developing your brand, but we're the funnel. We're the funnel to take someone who maybe has had a year or so off from college or maybe something happened in their life where they didn't get a chance to go straight overseas or straight to the NBA. And so we're that funnel to get that film, to get that competition, to be able to provide those stats and film to say, here you go. You, you want a chance? Here you go. And we're going to provide it for you. So I'm excited about that because I've had a few of my players take film for my seasons, get their stats, and then they were in Australia, you know what I mean, for eight months, you know what I mean? And so it's a goal of not only theirs, but it's a goal or it should be a goal if you're a coach or owner, you know what I mean? So I just want the best for all the guys, you know, because even though I have my team, I have relationships with everybody else, you know what I mean, as far as their teams, the owners, the coaches, we just want everybody to win. So I'm hoping the PBA will kind of be the new standard for minor league professional basketball so all of us can start winning again, you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. There you go. So we appreciate you taking time out like always. Go ahead, go ahead and put that St. Jersey up again. Go ahead and put it up, put it up, put it up. See, and she's also, you know, a New York, a, a Louisiana lady as well. So I guess, you know, she riding the Saints because she from Louisiana. It's because when I developed the team, we had so many players from Louisiana, but then we had players from Texas. So we took the North Texas name, and then I just rolled the Saints right into it because regardless where you live in Louisiana, you cannot deny that the Saints are from Louisiana, and they represent a majority of the Louisiana. So, hey, and we've been stunned on them ever since. <laughs> there you have it. This is Miss Kimberly Green. Go ahead and give a shout out to Louisiana before we wrap it up. Hey, shout out to the Port City, Shreveport, Louisiana. Shout out to my military veterans, active duty. I'm prior military as well, so want to give love to everybody. And I want to say um, have a happy holiday. And thank you to Chris Terrell for putting a great, uh, together this great league and great organization. All right. We'll be back here shortly with the director of officials. All right, now joining me is DFW Jess Hoops, primetime owner, Tristan Boone. Tristan, how's it going? Going good, man. Here at the Combine in Dallas. Oh, yeah. So tell us, Tristan, uh, what are some of the things? We know you got two teams set up, two successful programs that you built up from the ground up. Tell us, what are you looking to accomplish at the ownership with your teams in the PBA? Well, in the PBA, I'd like to um, have the opportunity to, you know, um, win a championship in, in, in the league, of course, and uh, – you know, I really want to help get players contracts to go overseas and get even bigger opportunities to get paid. All right, so tell us, how long have you been doing a basketball scene? Man, I started uh, doing rec leagues when I was 16. Um, I, you know, I was a part of a rec team. I was playing basketball in high school, and, uh, you know, I was on rec teams, and it was just like, well, you know, why be a part of a team when I felt like I could create my own team and build my own team and get my own players? Uh, I knew a lot of good guys. They had potential, and um, I was like, man, let's just create a team and see where it goes. And, uh, you know, we kept doing that for a while, and then, you know, we started getting into the semi-pro leagues and did that for a few years, and now we're here with the PBA. All right, so what are some of the things you're looking for here in the combine today to add to your team? Uh, man, primarily I'm just looking for uh, bigs for both my teams. Um, we have a lot of guards, and I, I know a lot of guards that can go, and they're good, and uh, I can rely on them, you know. Um, I think we have some bigs moving up, doing some other things, maybe going overseas. And so I'm just trying to find some bigs, man. Um, centers, power forwards. Yeah. All right, so last but not least, what do you love about the PBA? Man, I like how the, 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 just the, the whole pro scene, uh, it's very professional. Um, we're giving guys an opportunity that I think a lot of leagues aren't giving other like players and stuff. Um, you know, all the players are going to have Eurobasket profiles and uh, full full stats, full box score, and uh, it just gives a better criteria for, like, overseas teams and overseas scouts and uh, to go off of and, and, and recruit based off of our league. All right, Tristan, we appreciate you for stopping by, you know, taking time out being with us today. Yes, sir. And good luck, you know, to your teams coming up in uh, this season. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, Mike. Right, thank, thank you now. Thank you. 
All right, welcome back here to Dallas. As you can see, hey, a lot of hot fire actually going on behind us here. What a monster is done. We just got to sit right before we go in our air. <laughs> now joining me is Coach Terry Williams, North Texas Prowlers. How you doing today, Coach? Doing great, doing great, doing great. I just got to sit at Dunk just like you got to sit in. What are you thinking about this talent here today? Well, I, I love the talent. Um, it's a great deal. Um, I think, like I said, they do a lot of good things here. Um, I'm trying to hope, coach them and preach and teach them about, hey, solid defense and offense, professionalism. All uh, right, so what, what kind of players are you looking for in today's combine? Um, today, just professionalism. You know, I want guys to be themselves, be confident um, in what they're doing. Um, there's a lot of great opportunities for different teams. Um, just, just original basketball IQ and talent mixed together. Yeah, I know you guys. I know from the Perlas, I know y'all always had a little star scudder squad over there. So shoot, you had a few bigs over there. Y'all good boys. Hey, y'all might be kind of deadly over there. <laughs> We're always gonna be deadly at the end of the day. So anybody coming to us, they gotta see us. They gotta come see us. Man. See, coach over here talking laws on y'all today. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right, coach. So. Moving forward, like, um, what do you see in a PBA that you might haven't seen it anywhere else that makes you love the PBA? What I like about the PBA is there's a variety of teams from across the country. Um, and that's what I've always, in my career, I've always wanted to see. Um, different types of talent from everywhere, you know, showcased from different states that a lot of people in the Dallas and Fort area have not seen. So I'm looking forward to seeing new faces from different organizations, new players, and everything like that. So I'm very, it's, it's, this is a great, exciting league. Uh, look forward to the competition. So, hey, we're ready. All right, there you have it, Coach Williams, North Texas Prowlers. We'll be here in Charlotte with more player interviews as well as probably a few honors. All right, we're signing out. All right, Coach, appreciate you now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the PBA Combine here in Dallas, Texas. Now joining me is Wolf Rob, PBA. If you don't know what the Q science, I know marketing stuff here. You know, so we definitely want to hit him up, follow your knees. Like I said, a proud partner of the PBA. I'm going to let him kind of go into the details of, you know, the products that Q science has to offer. Yes, sir. Uh, we just partnered with the PBA. Uh, Pretty much got all your athletic needs, all your everyday needs. We got vitamins, we got sprays, we got it's all natural hemp products. So whatever you need, we got meal replacement shakes, we got vitamins. This is athletic cream similar to Icy High to kind of help with muscle aches and pain. So pretty much just kind of promoting and helping out with anybody you need. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the cream stuff for the recovery wise. So I know probably after the athletes get done, I know we got the icy hot. Now you got the cream here. So how was the cream compared to the icy hot that you feel like on recovery? I know you're an athlete, so you try both of them. So what's the difference? Uh, I wouldn't say it's, it's too much of a difference. We have a, a, a before cream and an after cream. One is called Excel and one is called Renew. Pretty much you take the Excel before to try to help you get a little extra boost and you know relax your muscles and the same thing afterwards. You put that cream on to kind of help you relax, soothe you, take any aches and pains away. So you feel better come morning time. Okay, so tell us a little bit more for us on the uh, vitamin wise, what the vitamins kind of use for. Okay, so we got women's vitamins, we got men's vitamins that you could take daily, like just natural essential hemp vitamins that help with brain health, help with brain growth, uh, just everyday functionality. We also have sprays that are vitamins, B12 spray, C plus spray, D3 sprays, a relief spray, sleep spray anything you can think of that's gonna help with your everyday life that you might be struggling with we got it all right that's definitely something interesting that i would definitely be trying out for myself so again check it out wolf rob here q science you know we definitely want to definitely eat the products he got you so gotcha. you, all right we well, appreciate your wolf for stopping through and we look forward to trying the products and thank you for being a part of the proud sponsor of the pba yes, sir. Thank you. all right thank you appreciate it brother all right thank you all right, we'll be back here shortly from Dallas.